You're now watching Motivation Daily. Let's get tuned in. Hey, what's up? You rocking with the one and only D Man. Just here to motivate, inspire, and spread good news to my people to impact you guys to go out here and touch your world around you and inspire others. And this is going here and be great. I'm about to tell you about a story that I came across and it touched me and I want to share it and we're just going to keep on going with it. So there was a group of fraternity brothers that came together and helped pay off the mortgage for one of their cooks at the school they attended 30 years later. 30 years. I'm almost 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? That's a long time. That's like my whole existence right there. I'm like, geez. <laughs> So there was a lady that used to work at this school, LSU, Louisiana State University. She used to work there back in her day, back in, the, you know, back then. She was working there from like 1982 to like 1996, from what I've seen. And while she was there, she impacted a lot of people and she was a cook. So it don't matter what you are, who you are, what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You can inspire anybody with who you are as a person. It's not always about what you have, what your profession is, how much money you got. It's about who you are as a person. Her name is Miss Jessie Hamilton. She had three kids of her own, you know, and she was a cook at that school. And there she connected with the students and staff. Her character was beaming. Her attitude was beaming. People were able to gravitate to her because of what she brought to the table, her just being who she was, you understand? And she impacted other people. So 30 years later, they helped her. So it's great when you go here and you have a positive mindset, you have great energy, you're able to inspire, give back, treat people with respect, not look down on others. You just never know what it can do. You just never know where it can take you. So she was a cook there. And while she was there, she connected with some of the fraternity boys there. At that time, the students who were in the frats, she connected with them. And it was a, a group, uh, um, Phi Gamma Delta, also known as Fiji. She connected with them. And she was like a mother figure to some of those guys there. And when they were troubled, when they had things on their mind, they needed somebody to talk to, advice, she was there for them. She was there for them. And that meant the world to them at that time. And they remembered it. So it pays to be good. It pays to stand out. It pays. It pays to be beautiful. It pays to be nice. It pays to be great. Because you just never know how it will touch you. You never know how it impacts you. So. There was one student you know, that kept in contact with her, you know, would check up on her and stuff like that. His name is Andrew Fasoiti. I hope I did not mess up your name, but you know, respect to you for the things, you know, you helped accomplish with the group of alumni from that school and the fraternity brothers that actually came into play and helped this lady achieve her goals. You know, so she had a house and she had difficulties paying for a mortgage. You know, she's older. She's 74 now. You know, she's getting older, you know, and this student at that time, you know, who attended the school named Andrew, he got his own thing going on now. He has his own car dealership. He's doing his thing now. So more power to you. I wish you more success and more blessings and everybody who helped everybody who was a part of her success and just, you know, giving her a peace of mind, you know, that's beautiful. That's dope. So he found out that she was going through certain things and she was kind of struggling and she was having difficulty paying for certain things and finding work. She's getting older. It's not easy. We're all going to get old one day. You understand what I'm saying? So when he heard that, he reached out to some of his people. He was like, man, I got to help her. How can I help her? He connected with her family, her, you know, he was like, he has to help. So that's tight. So 91 people contributed money and they were able to raise up like, I think it was $51,765. And that was about enough, if not more than enough for what she needed to do what she had to do for her mortgage. That's a blessing. That's a blessing, you know, and 30 years later, they still remembered her. So your impact 
can run deep in somebody's life off one little thing, off being who you are, off greeting somebody, off listening to somebody, off advising somebody. Somebody might remember you for a long time. You just never know how much you might impact somebody. So it pays to be great. It pays to be good. It pays to be nice. You just never know and be positive. Give out positive energy. Don't be nasty. Don't be rude. Listen, help others around you because you never know when you need help. You never know who's going to reach out their hand to help you out. So it runs deep. So they helped her. Her birthday was coming up. They were like, man, we got to do something nice for her. They came together, celebrated her birthday with her. They even gave her her own day. The Fiji, Fiji. Y'all, y'all got it. Y'all got it going on. They gave her her own day, like April third. They called it Jesse Hamilton Day. They recognized that for her, for her just being a great person to them, helping them, impacting their lives. They were able to return the favor to her years later. So it pays to be great. It pays to be good. It pays to be positive. And help others around you. Sometimes it'd be the little things. It'd be the things we take for granted. We'd be like, ah. You just never know when you're good. When you help others. Some of the things that we like look down on. You, When you're just there. You just never know how you can impact and change your world. You're laying a seed in somebody's life. So from laying a seed in that person's life, it spreads. It continues to go and grow and move on and go to other people just from whatever you have done. So it pays to be good in this world. It, it Please, let's go out here and do beautiful things. Let's go out here and inspire. You know, there's so many negative things that we're surrounded by on a daily basis. So it's good to have that element of good news. It's good to see what people are doing out here to help others and touch other people and make that now she don't really have to worry no more for being great, for having a great character, for being like a mother figure to these young men at that time when they were younger. You know, they ordered to meet, you know what I'm saying? But at that time, just speaking into it, that that's beautiful. And some people who have um, derailed or gone off course, sometimes all they needed was somebody to talk to. Sometimes all they needed was somebody to be a positive figure in their life. Sometimes all they needed was somebody to give them advice, which later on helped them in life. So now they're able to return the same favor and give it to other people. So please, remember one thing. It pays to be positive. And you never know who's watching. You never know who you're going to impact. Sometimes you might do things and, you know, you think it's not going nowhere. <laughs> it might not show now, but later on, it might pay off. Now, that's powerful. If you like what I'm talking about, check out more of my videos. I'm here to inspire, motivate, subscribe to my channel. You're rocking with the one and only D-Man.